How fast do you think I was going? You're going over 10% over the speed limit. <laughs> I'm the vehicle. person doing the speed limit, but you're sitting here handing a ticket. So no why don't you know what you're doing right now? My tax dollars go to you sitting in your car? 100%. I'm, I'm in the Are we not in recess? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Also guys, we start this week with some very interesting videos uh, that will surprise you. As always, I ask you to support me with your likes and comments and let's get started. We're in a recess. The meeting is in a recess. So five minutes is over. It's a recess right now. Officers are going to walk out of history if you rest in recess. Oh my gosh. I complied. I took the sticker away. That's your choice. His sticker isn't on. Not Just go. We are in recess, sir. Are we in recess or not? Do you want to leave? I thought we were in recess. Why are we doing this? Are we not in recess? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? What the? Why? 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 Why do you think this man was arrested? Eyewitnesses say it was because of the We The People t-shirt. My understanding is that this video was taken from a courtroom and the cops really don't like it when someone shows their corruption. That's yeah. political yeah. Stop. 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 Why are you allowing this? Stop. Stop. This is ridiculous! This is absolutely ridiculous! What is happening? What you asked. It's a freaking Sorry. sticker. He put the sticker away. Why is he being arrested? What are you guys doing? He did what he was asked. We do not live in Nazi Germany. Put a gold star on his arm while you're at it. This is evil. We're all watching this. This is sick. Ashamed of yourselves. Ashamed of yourselves. You guys hold an honor. I used to hold that honor. I'm embarrassed by you. This is sick. Your job is not an excuse. It's not. Holy cow. I'm 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 you guys make me sick. You guys are a coward. Oh. For this. To us. Not to the government. Hey, you you want that a I always try to be objective. And if the cops are right and not the average person, I say so openly. But in this case, I see the reaction of the public they all claim that an illegal arrest happened and that's why I decided to share this video and uh, support that man. We have his first and ninth amendment rights to be here. Wow. You did this. You did this. He did what he was asked to do. We all thought. Chairman, don't be a jerk. Number one, right? You got your way. A little. Ooh. And the following video, I sure to please you. You know, sometimes we get tired in the evening after work and just want to like uh, sit in the car in the parking lot and listen to music. After that, the cops come up to us and tell us that we look suspicious. Here is the opposite situation. New York's Attorney General recommended the New York Police Department get out of the business of routine traffic enforcement, a radical change she said would prevent encounters like the one that happened in the Bronx, that escalated quickly and ended with an officer fatally shooting a motorist. This is how you get rid of an officer and stop them from harassing members of the public. Everything alright? Yeah, everything's good. Yeah? How are you doing? Good. You just look a little suspicious sitting here. Police officer sitting in a police car is suspicious? Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Nothing. What's going on with you, sir? What are you up to? Nothing. What are you up to? Seeing what you're up to. I'm just sitting here, sir. That's, what you, that's your task for tonight? Right now, yes it is. And that catches how, crime? How can I help you? I'm talking to you. Okay. I can't talk to you? Of course you can. So you're catching crime? You're catching criminals? Sir, how can I help you? I'm asking you. What's the statistics on, you know, how to, you know, uh, fixing crime by sitting here? Uh, I don't know, 
don't understand your question, sir. I think that average person sitting in his car is less suspicious than the cops sitting around doing nothing. So your task is just to sit here? I, I want to see where my tax dollars go. Okay. Yeah. I, who are you? Do you live in town? That's all right. You don't have to know who I am. Okay. Thank you, What's sir. What's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Michael Farabashi. My badge number is 118. 118. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Okay. Uh, do you guys get training in your constitutional rights and everybody's constitutional rights? Sure, sir. How what's, your, what's your favorite uh, amendment? I, I don't have to discuss that with you, sir. I'm sorry. Do you know the amendments? Do you know the amendments, sir? Yeah, I sure do. Okay. Do you? Sir, can I help you in some way tonight? You just look suspicious sitting here. Okay. A police officer sitting in a police car is yeah. suspicious. Why isn't that suspicious? Okay. You catching criminals? Are you a criminal, sir? Like, well, how can I help Listen, you? Listen, like, you work for me. I want to know okay. what you're doing right now. I'm sitting in this car, sir. Why? My tax dollars go to you sitting in your car? 100%. I'm, I'm in the... Can you imagine this cop reporting after a day's work and the report says, what did I do today that was useful? I sat in the car all night. The car all day long. Right here, in this parking lot. In this parking lot. Yes, sir. I'm watching traffic. You're watching traffic? Yes. No. Steve, any suspicious autos are going back and forth. Like what? Sir, hard, I'm hard, not hard, discuss, hard but working I'm members, with you. hard working members of the public. Okay. You live in the area? Don't worry about where I live. Okay. Well, thank you very much, sir. I'm gonna leave now. Okay. Why are you gonna leave? I'm You're doing leave. your job. You're sitting here, right? Yep. So why would you leave? I don't have to answer that, sir. Yes, you do. No, you right. work for me. Have a good day, sir. You got to answer my question. Have a good why day. wouldn't you answer my question? Have a good day. Why do I gotta have a good day? And the following video I would like to discuss with you. Uh, so that you can explain to me who is wrong. Alright, so if you think back to when you were studying for your driver's license, one of the questions likely was what lane are you supposed to be in when, when you pass emergency vehicle? When I passed you? No. Nope. When you're driving and they're and you're driving less than the normal speed of traffic, which lane are you supposed to be in? Doing the speed limits to less than the speed of traffic? Yeah, it doesn't matter what's the speed. 401, it's the highway, correct? Yeah. So you're supposed to do 100 max speed. Okay. Not above, not a lower. Okay. So... So have you ever been pulled over for doing 105 in a 100 zone? No, because you can't... What's the ticket going to be? Exactly. I drive all over Ontario. Okay. So this here you is just you looking for a quota or something. Well, I get to write as many as I want. There's no quota for me. Um, the, the issue is, is that the roads are designed for Ontario. Sorry, give me one second. I can't hear you. So that slower traffic keeps right. Okay. okay. That that helps create an even flow of traffic. Did this cop really decide to find the guy for such a minor speeding violation? Or am I missing something? Because not everybody drives exactly 100 kilometers an hour. Okay. The but same reason that you don't get that's stopped. That's what you're supposed to be doing yes, on the highway. 100%. So. But there is... There is what's what's called a socially acceptable rate of civil disobedience in the sense that you're not going to get okay. stopped and you said 105 correct in the no. left lane you said i was doing no have you ever been pulled over for doing 105 you that, that was the question have you ever been stopped for speeding okay so how fast was i going you were doing between 99 and 101 okay so the speed limit yeah okay but you're missing, so, you're missing. I, I am missing. So we point. should have been in this lane instead yeah. of the other lane. Because there is traffic that travels faster than you. Yeah. Anyway, no, he doesn't get it. No, I yeah. don't get because you have a, a ticket in your hand. Yeah. For? For failing to, to move over. Okay, so I, you have a recording? I think this guy is doing the right thing. If the cop wants to say violated something, then What's the problem with showing the tape? Pardon? You have your camera on or recording? So I'll be taking it to court. That's fine. Cool. It's all explained on the back yeah. here how to go yeah. with oh. to do that. Yeah. You're the person you're the person that holds everybody up. That other I'm the vehicle. person doing the speed limit, but you're sitting here handing out tickets. 
for no, no fucking for so no reason. why don't you drive in the right lane then? Because you had a vehicle pull over, so I moved over, and then you sat maybe. Sir, I followed you since yeah. from the parkway. Another, the blue Dodge truck passed what? you on the right hand side, which is dangerous. Yeah. But you were sitting there about maybe half car length back for the first kilometer. And then if you would have waited another couple minutes instead of riding my ass, I would have been over on this side. Well, unfortunately so, for you, you yeah, didn't do it. Yeah, unfortunately for you, you like hand out tickets. Can I have this? Have yourself a good day. I'm finished with you. <laughs> Thank you. And the next situation is also related to the speed limit. But only the cop doesn't even know what speed is allowed. And that's what happened. Sir, I'm Officer Gilpin Millen Police Department, sir, ma'am. And so the reason why you got pulled over as you passed me, I noticed you had your phone up. No, my phone was right here. Well, maybe it was my mistake then, then I stand corrected. Have a good see, day. No, you're not pretty good. You seem to be in a hurry, sir. Was I speeding? Yes, you were. No, I was not. Okay, you, you weren't speeding? No, sir. All right, your license, please. Do you have me clocked for speeding or did you pull me over for that? Because that's the first time you told me yes, you pulled I, me over for I, that. I, now I, you're telling me speeding. Let me start over. Okay. Please do. I said I noticed you with your phone. You corrected me. You said your phone was us up. You so, didn't have your phone yet, so I was I was mistaken. I, I did so then you got me for something else now. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have so a supervisor? I do have a supervisor. So Why don't license, you give me Your license, please. What did you clock me at? Sir, I did not clock you. Exactly. So I wasn't speeding because I saw you whenever I turned off a of Garfield. This is another situation where the cop is just looking for a reason to find the driver. First he gives the reason, phone. Then she talks about speeding. But it was his big mistake because the driver knows his rights. And I am obviously not going to speed past the cop. Whenever I passed you, I was going 16 miles an hour. It's okay. 25 on these roads. 20 or 25 on these roads. My supervisor is quite a distance away. I'm going to give you a warning and let you go. You want to talk to me, supervisor? Great. Alright, I'll call my supervisor. So you're holding me here. You asked for your supervisor. So I'm because you're asking for my license for no reason because I wasn't speeding. I'm not gonna give you my license unless I was speeding. Alright, so you want to So if you're good with it and I can drive away, I don't need your supervisor. Okay. But if you if, but if you want my license and you're gonna violate my fourth amendment, you're absolutely getting your supervisor. Do you want me to call my supervisor? Are you do you want my license? Yes, I want your license. Your supervisor. Okay. Right. 13 So those are fellow officers, that, not my supervisor. Supervisor on side time, so he's coming over, okay? Great use of resources there. I'm sorry? Great use of resources there. Friends, please keep an eye on the video because when the supervisor showed up, the fun part started. Okay, you, again, you asked for a supervisor, so. Yeah, well, because you're trying to violate my fourth amendment. Wait, sir? Are you or are you not? Why do you need my license if I wasn't speeding? If I didn't commit an infraction, why do you need my license? Visually? You can't pace from sitting still. You cannot pace from so sitting still. I'm not going to argue with you, okay? Well, then prove your point. So let me explain. How do you know I was speeding? I'll sit here and shut up. You tell me how you know I was speeding. Visually, you came up rapidly behind me. You were speeding. My interpretation, I didn't get you on radar. So that is why I told you you were speeding, okay? You, don't, you don't know you that, so you don't get my license. You don't have to give me a license. You want a supervisor? I asked you. I didn't give you a verbal. Let you go. You want my supervisor? My supervisor on his way. So that's where No, no, no. You wanted my license to give me a verbal. This so, all would have been done if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't have said you needed my again, license for did nothing. Did you hear what I said? Right, so that you, you don't by? know any violation and you wanted my you license. You were speeding. I was not speeding. That's your interpretation and my No, that's the fucking truth because it said 16 miles an hour on... I'm telling the truth. This cop visually detects a slight speeding violation. He must be one of those cops who visually detects intoxication and the presence of marijuana in the car. If you have watched my videos, you know what I mean. You don't. You wanted to ID me. You you guys don't like it when citizens don't bow down to you. So you don't have to bow down to me. I, then let me be on my damn way without violating my Fourth up. Amendment. You can you can argue and say what you want to say. Get out of my fucking face, dude. Why do you have me stop right now? You want to start over? I, and I will too. Okay. And sir. we can shake hands and be done. I will exactly. calm down. Uh, sir, I'm calm. <sighs> exactly. Sir, so I'm driving, I saw you behind me. I saw the phone up, I thought you had your phone in your hand, okay? So I pulled you over because of the phone. When I came up to here, you corrected me and told me 
And this, you're right, it's on, it's on the mount. You said it was on the mount. I said, sir, I, I stand corrected. Exactly. Have a good day. You're on your way. No, and I said you were speeding. <laughs> you you said we're going to start over. That's where I'm we're starting exactly over, but you're still wrong. We can start over, sir, but I you're can still be wrong. wrong. You can be right. We can all be okay. going back and forth. I'm just explaining. You asked me to start okay. over. Okay. So I said you were speeding. I love it when cops confront drivers who know their rights. Those cops always look really pathetic. They came okay. behind me. I pulled over. Visually caught you speeding. You said you weren't speeding. Okay, that's your interpretation and you're you're the driver. You you have the right to say what you mm -hmm. believe is the truth. I can't dispute what you say is the truth. I'm just saying what I saw and what I interpreted. And I did not mm -hmm. get you in radar. You're exactly right. I did not. Okay. So I said you were speeding. Ask your license. You said no. You said I'm violating your Fourth Amendment. Absolutely. I said okay. You said you want to supervise. I said okay. I was going to give you a verbal and let you go. I said my supervisor mm -hmm. on the side of town. I can call him if you want the supervisor, and I did. If you got to have that license, I want to talk okay. to the supervisor. And that's that's where we are. So at the so, end of the day, so now I'm so I'm, I'm not trying to violate your Fourth Amendment right. But I'm you're holding me. But you are. Sir, and I told in you again, you're in a gray area right now, right? What's the gray area? <clears throat> you are detaining me right now. Yes. For invoking my Fourth Amendment. It has nothing to do with Fourth Amendment. It does, because it you don't get that with, license unless I made an infraction. It has to do with me having probably caused... She's tried every way to avoid calling his supervisor. I hope this is because the supervisor will at least reprimand him. That you have violated I'll tell you what, offense. you go back there and write a ticket for me speeding. Uh -huh. And we can meet in court. But only mm -hmm. if you write a ticket for not you, to yourself uh -huh. for not using a blinker whenever you got over Whenever I when you what? got over right here and I passed you, no blinker used. So like if you that. ride a ticket to yourself for not blinkering, to, for not signaling to get over, yeah. you can ride a ticket to me too. Get over we'll, where? Right here, whenever you parked right here. When so you what got lane behind did you. I get over in? You got there's over only, to park. There's only two lanes. You I got over to over, park. I did not get over to park. So again, it's your interpretation and my interpretation. Okay. Okay. I'll take the ticket if you want to write yourself. I'm not going to write myself a ticket. When yeah, because the government, the state can never be wrong. Huh? The state can be wrong. You're wrong right now, buddy. And I did not pull You're over wrong right now. Door. You it's, pulled it's me over a, for that it's phone. It's a single lane. Travel. You pulled me over for that phone and you were wrong. And I corrected myself. I told you. But right. you still got to get that license. It's like crack to you guys. I don't understand that. You got to have it. Let me have that license. This cop keeps saying the word interpretation. There is no interpretation, there are only laws, and everyone has to follow them, and cops in the first place. I don't want my, as a, as a citizen, I don't want my information entered into a database any more than it has to be. And sir, okay, you can see that. I wasn't even going to enter, I was going to look at the license and give it a rule. You don't, but you don't get to do that unless I've done something wrong. Sir, my interpretation, again, you, you So you think that, how fast do you think I was going? You're going over 10% over the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your mind, bro. Sir, my You're out of your mind. So, if the speed limit here is tw is it 20 or 25? I was doing 16. That's is it 20 or 20? Is it 20 or 25 right here? If you say you're doing 16, that is your interpretation. Is it 20 or 25 right here? I don't know. You tell me. You don't know. No, you tell me. You don't. Either way. So, if it's 20, 25. 10% over would be 22. If it's 25, 10% over is 2.5 miles. Yeah. Okay, so 27.5. Yeah. So you visually saw me going 27.5 miles an hour. Yes, you need to get your, you need to get recalibrated, man. Okay. He doesn't even know what speed is allowed. Who's hired this cop anyway? Your interpretation of recalibration, then it's fine. You're in the wrong. Sir, I you're in the we, wrong. We're gonna argue. And you're in the wrong. There's no fucking argue. argument because you're in the wrong. We're arguing right now. We're talking. There's no argument. I'm okay. telling you what the truth is. But I'm telling I'm you. being molested by my government yeah. for doing nothing wrong because you have to have my ID. Because you violated traffic offense, yes. No, I didn't. And your interpretation. You're a fucking liar, dude. Don't come back up to this car. Get your supervisor. I'm not talking my to you anymore. Is like I'm not talking to you anymore. You're a liar. Sir. Sir, how you doing? What can I do for you, man? I'm wondering why I'm still here. Well, apparently you called for a supervisor. Because he wants my license when I okay. have committed no traffic infraction. When your officer first got up to this vehicle, he said he pulled me for this. Okay. Because that's up there. When that was wrong, then he tells me that I'm speeding. I know for a fact I wasn't. I looked down at 16 the whole time I was behind him, man. I hope this supervisor is at least 10% smarter than the previous cop. Otherwise, I would feel sorry for our driver. Passed him. I looked down. I was 16 miles an hour. Okay. 
but he wants to get my license. He already told me he hasn't clocked me. He estimated my speed from a standstill, which you can't pace from a standstill. He says I'm going 10% over the posted speed limit. Okay. From a standstill, he knows this. I'm not giving up my license unless I'm, uh, unless you're threatening to take me to jail. Okay. It, it, I'm not the war you guys want right now with all y'all have going on. I was going 16 miles an hour, but I'm not gonna violate. I'm not gonna let him violate my Fourth Amendment when he was wrong. Okay. So you just, what do you want now? What I, is the I want to be unmolested from my government and on my way. Okay. Uh, it's I mean, not funny. Well, I mean, you sat here waiting for me. When, because he wouldn't let me go. Okay. All he need to do is verify that you have a driver's license. I'm not going to do it. He doesn't have a reason to see it. Well, now, yeah, actually, we do have a reason to what, see What it. reason is that? Because we can actually stop you to check your driver's license. No, you can't. Yes, we can. Friends, I think this is a very interesting situation, and I would love to hear your opinions. Write one you think in the comments, and I promise I will read everyone. Not unless you, not unless I've committed an infraction. No, we actually can. I, I, I search the traffic code; it'll tell you right there. But that's all he wanted to verify is to send you on your way. No, so go. I'll let you go. Go. Thank you very much. What's your name? Wilson. Wilson. Badge number? Three three zero. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This detainment lasted over 40 minutes, and I guarantee the driver of this truck did have better things to do. So I want to say thank you for spending your precious time to stand up to the tyrants and just say no. The truth is that you truly can make things a lot easier on yourself in the moment by just complying with tyrants and unlawful orders. But in the long run, you make things a lot worse for you and for your future generations. If you have any questions or concerns for this tyrant, I mean, police department, their contact information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. I think there were very hot and interesting videos today. I will be grateful to you for your support, for subscribing, for your every like and every comment. Videos are released every day, so click on the bell to not miss. See you tomorrow.